Hello there. Um, first off, I just have to tell you all that last night I had one of the biggest synchronicities I have ever experienced. It hit me on such a personal level that I literally didn't know if I was coming or going. Um, it's kind of personal, so I'm not going to really get into it, but luckily one of my awesome subscribers, and of course all my subscribers are awesome, um, who had also been trying to help me out with all this CERN stuff, he listened to my synchronicity story and told me it was a good thing. He got me grounded, and I just wanted to send out a big thank you to him. You know who you are. Anyhow, this video is in relation to the strange noises in the sky video I did just recently. I wanted to find a correlation between the sky noises, the Mandela effect, and possibly CERN. So for those of you that do not know what CERN is, I will give you a really quick explanation and then move on to the good stuff. CERN is a large hadron collider located in Switzerland and is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. Inside the accelerator, two high energy particle beams travel at close to the speed of light before they are made to collide. The beams travel in opposite directions in separate beam pipes, two tubes kept at ultra high vacuum. They are guided around the accelerator ring by a strong magnetic field maintained by superconducting electromagnetics. One of their aims is to discover the so-called God particle. And then ironically, I just had to throw this in because I wasn't aware of this until recently, um, CERN is also the birthplace of the World Wide Web. So, stop. Now, to move on. So, looking for connections. I started by using Google Trends for the phrases most people use that could help me connect the dots. Um, let me get out of here. So I first um, typed in strange sounds in the sky. And hopefully this is not going to be slow right now. I didn't set this part up. Oh, come on. I don't like it when there's silence. And then I decided to put in the Mandela effect. There we go. No! <laughs> oh my gosh, nothing like doing this on the fly, right? Okay, get rid of that. Remove. We will type that one more time. And I was trying to think of something else. So then I thought, okay, how about alternate realities? I'm trying to think of what people just would be typing in. Oh, come on, speed up. You need to go as fast as me. Okay, and then this is um, from 2004 till present, and it's on the web search. Um, and then I finally wanted to use a term that people would maybe use if they did not know that this thing that we are going through has a name, you know, if they had never heard of the Mandela Effect. And the earliest and most common thing that I could think of was the Berenstein Bears. If I know how to type. And then we get the comparison of the three checking for spikes. And as you can see, I'm just double checking to make sure I spelled everything right here. <laughs> there there does seem to be a little bit of a correlation. Um, now back on to the difficult part, CERN. Let's see, starting on Monday, December 17th, 2012, and then going through Friday, December 21st, 2012, CERN launched and ran a series of collisions. It was apparently shut down for about 18 months from 2014 until 2015. 
So early in 2015, they started up again after many improvements. Um, some 10,000 superconducting magne mag magnet interconnections were consolidated in order to prepare the LHC machine for running at its designed energy. Then, I can put this up. Then on Friday, March 25th, 2016, and I feel like I skipped something, um, CERN was switched back on after its winter shutdown. The LHC operators then increased the intensity of the beams so that the machine would produce a larger number of collisions. Uh, quoted, I don't know who said it, but it's a quote, we now have ambitious goal for 2016 as we plan to deliver around six times more data than in 2015. And I thought this was an interesting thing here. In 2015, we opened the doors to a completely new landscape with unprecedented energy. Now we can begin to explore this landscape in depth. Just interesting choice of words. So notice how they made some big changes in the restart of 2015. And... I know there's got to be a better way to visualize this. Um, but if you, then you can compare it to the larger spike on my search terms for that approximate time. And then when they made even bigger changes in 2016, I mean, this, this spike is... It just goes. The... Uh, so the blue... The blue is the strange sounds. And, I mean, that was my main thing. I wanted to know, you know, when people were hearing strange sounds, what was the date? So we had January. But there wasn't anything going on, as far as I know, with CERN in January 2012. But then you've got... There's a spike here. December 2013 with the sounds. And then May... 2015 and then I mean you look right after that and you get your everyone's checking the spelling on Berenstein Bears and then people start apparently after that it looks to me they're like oh it's something called the Mandela effect so then that spikes up I don't know I just thought thought that was a little bit interesting um so that's my take and I, and I feel like there was other things that I was going to say, but I just lose my train of thought. Ugh. Um, so now that I gave myself a headache, <laughs> I'll wrap it up. I just want to say, please forgive me if I state anything incorrectly or I am slightly or drastically inaccurate. I mean, I hope it would maybe only be slightly. As a layman, and I'm trying to understand and retain the technical or scientific jargon and then repeat it back into layman's terms, it's kind of a tricky task but I love challenges anyhow so I take no offense if anyone needs to correct me um, I don't want people I definitely don't want people to get bad information from anywhere let alone from me so correct me if I'm wrong with anything I say and that's not you're giving me your opinion that's like if I say something that's inaccurate scientifically <laughs> or something so I hope what I said made sense and that I didn't screw anything up. On that note, I thank you guys for listening again. And I hope that you have a great day. And until later.